Okay guys, we are going to continue with the second video for acid-base equilibrium. Now, uh, strength of an acid base can be described by using strong acid, strong base, weak acid, and weak base. So strong acids are strong electrolytes that are ionized completely in water. So most of the strong acids are inorganic acids such as HCl, NH3, and H2SO4. So this is the dissociation equation for each of the respective acids. Whereas weak acids are uh, acids that are ionized partially in water. So an equilibrium aqueous solution of weak acid contains a mixture of non-ionized acid hydroxodium ion and also the conjugate base. So example of the weak acids of hydrofluoric acids and ethanoic acid. So when hydrofluoric acid dissociated in water, you form hydroxodium ion and also fluoride ion. So this reaction is a reversible reaction and same goes with uh, ethanoic acid. So you form hydroxodium ion and also ethanoic acid at equilibrium. Whereas strong base are strong electrolytes that ionize completely in water. So hydroxide ions uh, of alkaline metals and certain alkaline earth metals are strong bases. So all alkaline metals are hydroxo hydroxides and barrier hydroxides are soluble in water. So weak base are bases that ionize partially in water. So similar to weak acid, aqua solution of weak acid, uh, weak base contain a mixture of non-ionized basic molecule, a hydroxide ion and a conjugate acid. So ammonia and amines are examples of uh, weak bases. So from the equation above, acid and base is dissociated to form hydroxide ion, uh, hydroxonium ion. Uh, most, most of the time it's described as H plus and also hydroxide ion respectively. So the concentration of H2O plus and OH minus depend greatly on two factors. One is the strength of acid base and number two is the degree of dissociation. So both factors can be measured quantitatively which shall be discussed below. So most of the concentration of H plus and OH minus in aqueous solutions are frequently very small number and therefore inconvenient to express. Therefore, a more practical measure called as pH and pOH are proposed, where pH of a solution is defined as a negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion, while pOH is defined as the negative logarithm of the hydroxide ion concentration. So for acidic solution, you have pH equals to negative log H plus. For basic solution, you have pOH equals to negative log of OH minus. So generally, lower the pH, higher the concentration of H2O plus. So lower the pOH, higher the concentration of the OH minus. So technically, the strength of an acid and conjugate base or base and its conjugate acids are opposite of each other. So table below shows the relative strengths. So in other words, if you have a strong acid, then you have a weak conjugate base. And conversely, if you have a weak base, you have a strong conjugate acid. So since weak acids ionize partially in water, there is a need to know the extension of ionization of this weak acid. So the limitation of ionization of any weak acid is related to the equilibrium constant of ionization, a quantitative way to measure the strength of acid base. So for example, for a weak acid, dissociation equation can be written below. We have HA plus H2O give H2O plus plus A minus. So since Kc0 is equal to H2O plus A minus over HA H2O, so as we know, concentration of one decimeter cube of water are too large, so it's considered as a constant. So Kc times a constant which is expressed as Ka. So Ka is equal to H2O plus A minus over HA. So usually Ka value are very small, so usually Ka, pKa is expressed. So pKa is negative log of Ka. Therefore, lower the value of pKa, stronger the acid it is. Examples, the table below shows the Ka value of some acid. Calculate the pKa and the range of each of them. So you have ethanol acid with the Ka value 1.80 times 10 power negative 5. pKa is 4.74. For chloric acid, it is 7.43. Uh, Benzoic acid is 4.20. And methanol acid is 3.68. So the increasing order of acidic strengths arranged in this order. So you have HCl, HOCl, which is the weakest acid, followed by ethanol acid. CCH5COH and also methanol acid. The dissociation constant of acid can be calculated quantitatively by applying law Oswald law of dilution. So consider the dissociation of a weak acid where your HA plus H2O give H2O plus plus A minus, where C is the concentration of acid. So uh, when you have the degree of dissociation of al uh, alpha, so 1 minus alpha. So at equilibrium, we have C times 1 minus alpha. Well, H2O plus is C alpha and A minus is also C alpha. So for the expression of dissociation constant of acid, so K is equal to H2O plus and A minus over HA. 
So when we substitute that, since 1 minus alpha is extremely small, therefore 1 minus alpha is considered expressed approximately equals to 1. So therefore, K is equal to C alpha times C alpha over C. So since concentration of H2O plus is equal to C alpha, therefore uh, concentration of H2O plus can be expressed also as square root of Ka times C. So when you cancel in between the when you cancel in between the C, okay, so therefore Ka is also equal to C alpha square. Where PK equals to negative log Ka and pH is negative log of H2O plus. Similar to acid. The strength of the weak base can be measured quantitatively by using Kb. So consider the following equation where you have mH plus H2O give mH2 plus plus OH minus. So Kb, which, con uh, which contain of OH minus, is equal to mH2 plus times mH over mH. Where Kb is the dissociation constant of base. So usually Kb value is very small, so pKb is often used. So pKb is negative log Kb, so lower the value of Kb, stronger the base it is. So here are a few examples. You have ammonia, methylamine, trimethylamine, and phenylamine. With PKB after calculations are as follow. So the increasing order of basic strength is from phenylamine to ammonia to methylamine, uh, trimethylamine to amine. So similar to Ka, the dissociation constant of a base Kb can be calculated qualitatively by applying Oswald law of dilution. So the formula is more or less the same, where OH minus is equal to C alpha. OH minus is equal to square root of Kb times C, Kb is equal to C alpha squared, BKB is equal to negative log Kb, and POH is equal to negative log of OH minus. Next, we're going to have a look at ionic product of water. So water is an extreme weak electrolyte. So the electrical conductivity of water is very small due to the reason water dissociates itself. So this process is called as auto-ionization, where water auto-ionized to become H2O plus and also OH minus. So the Kc not for the reaction is expressed as below. So since we know that H2O is constant, so therefore Kw, okay, ionic product of water, is equal to H2O plus times OH minus. So at 25 degrees Celsius, ionic product of water is 1.0 times 10 power negative 14 mole squared dm minus 6. Derivation of the relationship between concentration of hydroxyl ion and hydroxyl ion is described below, where pKw is equal to negative log kW at 25 degrees Celsius. Negative log, uh, negative log of uh, 1.0 times 10 power negative 4 is equal to negative log H2O plus times negative log of OH minus or simply 14 is equal to pH times pOH so this is the equation that we often use to relate between pH, pOH and uh, pH to pOH so uh, similar to Kc, Kw gives different values at different temperature so since this process is endothermic so higher temperature will favor the equilibrium position to the right therefore more water will be dissociated and last but not least, we are going to relate uh, between Ka, Kb, and Kw. So, uh, ethanoid acid dissociates in water to form ethanoid ion and also acidic ion. So, Ka is expressed as H3O plus times CH3CO minus over CH3COH. Whereas uh, CH3COH minus will then react with water to form back ethanoid acid plus hydroxide ion. So, this can be expressed as Kb. So, Kb is equal to CH3COH times OH minus over CH3CO minus. So, hence, when Ka multiply with Kb, so you can see here in between here, we can cancel between one to another. Then you cancel CH3CO minus, CH3CO minus, CH3COH, and CH3COH. So, as a result, this equals to H3O plus and OH minus, which is also to Kw. So, as a conclusion, we can see that Kw, Ka times Kb is also at the same time equals to Kw. Okay? Okay, so with this, that is the second video of the acidic, so we we'll continue on next. Thank you. Sorry, Archie, everyone. Yeah, that one, that one.